Hello, Internet! This is Lord Mad Dog, and we are playing No Man's Sky! <laughs> yeah! Alright, so last time we basically did a whole bunch of stuff with plants. Yes, we grew a whole lot of plants so we could finally make this stupid item! This mind arc here, yes! I don't know why it's only worth a thousand units. I think it'd be worth an awful lot, like ten times that much. But no, it's not for some crazy reason. Anyway, here we go. Even ten times that much wouldn't be that much for how much I had to go through to make it. But here we are. Here we are. We can now talk to this Halo Terminals and continue on in the storyline. Multiple signals to sources available. Tuned signal to Artemis. And signal match detected. Artemis Halo projection. Uh, use Mind Arc. I activated my mark. I don't know what I expect. Somehow, some show of lights and fu fury, some characteristics where Artemis emerged in the flesh, restored to life before my eyes. But it is not to be. One moment the hologram, I the one moment I see their hologram, and the next there is nothing. The stranger who gave me these blueprints beckons me over. Their signal still active. Ah, there they are. No hologram. The traveler were, the travelers were a dream, an ideal that we would meet and become more than ourselves. Artemis had it, you had it, Apollo too. Though they would conceal it, even I had this dream long ago. There are more of us than you know, my friend. Walk these worlds, yearn for friendship. No one w wants to be alone, not truly. But the closer you get to the others, the more you risk hurting yourself, hurting them. The deepest secret of the universe is not that the glass or the Ar Arians or the per progenitors, it is that final act, the decision to abandon those who need you. It is the primal sin, the foundation of existence itself. Go to the stars, traveler. Your, friend wait, your friends wait for you. They will help you bring peace to Artemis. Poor Artemis, return when you are finished. We have much to discuss. Okay, so basically I'm supposed to... Answers may be found in the stars. Go fly to. All right, let's go ahead. And... Oh, I've already got this, didn't I? Yep. Let's go over here. Take to the ship and take off. I guess that's what I'm supposed to do. Ba -da. Off into space. And there we are. I, don't, I probably need to go see if I can hire myself. Well, I got the money. I need to actually get a better ship first. But anyway, here we go. Let's go ahead and talk. Halt, stranger. Who goes there? We are heading for your position. Identify yourself or there will be consequences. We aren't bluffing. We are not the liar geck. The entity appears hostile, but despite their promise of consequences, I suspect that they are indeed bluffing. They do not look like warrior, nor does their, my ship warn me of incoming danger. Identify yourself. Uh, identify yourself as a, as a traveler in search of assistance, causing the Gek to squint at their communication screens. They appear to be uncertain whether to trust me. After a moment of pause, the Gek informs me that they will arrive at my location soon. They hope that I come in peace. Oh, another one of these. Space anomaly detected. It's been a long time since I've been in one of these. And in fact. The next place for me to get into one of these is pretty far away, as far as I understand. Here we go. Yay! Here we go. Oh, why would you turn my... Oh, I guess you turn my ship around. That makes sense. All right. Point saved. Let's go. There you guys to talk to, man. There's this. Oh, hopefully, I get a good. It's about time. Ah, nope, no go. No go. It's only C. That's very. What? There should be. Ah, whatever. This is pretty far in the game, I would think. And it took an awful lot to get here. This would be some type of reward. A little bit more than that. Okay, let's talk to this guy first. Nada wishes to speak to you, you, with you, stranger. I don't know how you drew our home to this system, but it is most unexpected. I did not. Ha I had not even sh showered. <laughs> <laughs> I 
So this I this this thing teleports randomly, hey? Is it Traveler? Is it first or last? Pleasure regardless. I am priest entity Nada. Divergent Corvax. Pl but entities must keep secrets, yes? The electronic being the electronic being stares at me from the dark mask. I cannot escape the feeling that we have somehow met before. Then the entire station signals with a strange and unnerving frequency. Nada tells me that we stand in the place between worlds, in the heart of the anomaly. They explain that they received the signal summoning for them to this system on a hidden frequency. Tell Nada about your journey. I tell Nada about that I'm a traveler and search for help, that I went through a portal as I tried to rescue a friend. At the moment mention of the portal, the lights of Nada's mask begin to shudder. Stutter. What did the traveler say? Repeat portal. I explain I activated portal and went through. Nada appears terrified. What did the traveler encounter within the breach? Did you see did you see that did you find the that did the Atlas find you? Please, you must not go back. Nada becomes more frightened as I tell them about my encounter with the Atlas Terminal. They begin to scan me with their visor, looking for signs of something they call rampancy. Eventually, eventuality sa satisf eventually satisfied by their scans, Nada claim calms down. They ask why I have come here. Tell Nada about Artemis. I tell Nada that I carry the remains of a traveler named Artemis, an explorer who lost their life attempting to find others of their kind. Um, I am about to explain the nature of the mind arc when Nada touches it directly, the light on his mask burning more brightly than ever. It is an echo. I, I never thought to see a traveler's soul. You are so beautiful. Artemis' echo is in pain, disconnected to traveler. We can, traveler, we can help them. But there is a choice. Artemis' echo will never have a body again, will never explore again. Oh, life gone. You must choose. Upload them to the machine to sub-simulate where they may live on or help Artemis. Echo and, and suffering. Ask if there's another way. What, what do you mean? Did you, so... Uh, okay. Upload them to the machine to sub-simulate where they may live on uh, or or help Artemis echo end suffering. So in other words, put him in end. Nada shakes their head, strangely, trying to adopt my own mannerisms. The gesture is appreciative or disconcerting. You must choose. Upload them to the machine to sub-simulate. Ask about simulation. I ask what life would be like inside of sim the simulation. Nada pauses for a moment, staring at me strangely. Nada tells me that Artemis would still feel joy at all the things they experienced, but if they should learn of their fate, that they were alone, no longer real, unable to meet their friends, such knowledge may cause them great pain. Yeah, that's no, no, that's no good. You must choose to upload the machine to a sub-simulation where they may live on, or help Artemis echo. I'm not sure what I mean, Artemis echo. And Go and speak with Paolo. There, they will help you calibrate the machine, no matter what di direction. This isn't. Whatever you do, traveler, I will assist. Well, I don't want to put an end to him. I want to put him in a machine, like what you guys got. You guys got a body. What's this? User unidentified. Terminal now active. Unlocking data catalog for analysis. The machine is ancient. A relic of the world long since destroyed. And it didn't do anything. Wouldn't let me activate it. Decide Artemis' fate. Uh, I'm not sticking him in the simulation, but I'm not killing him either. Good silver companion. Can exist exotic items for Quicksilver. Use Quicksilver to turn these creations into... Oh, that's right. Quicksilver. I don't have any Quicksilver. Robotic companion. Celebrate. Yeah, this is the only one I want. <laughs> and it's cost 3000 and I have no idea how to get Quicksilver. I think that event already ended, actually. So that's not fair. Uh, oh, here we go. Specialist Polo. Nada told me what you need. 
Just know, new friend, that we support you no matter what the choice. The anomaly has many secrets. One of those is open to me. A dormant machine now active. What? What, what, what? You want me to go where now? Into here? Ah, I was already in here. Priest entity authorization detected. Secondary simulations, five activated. The machine is ancient and powerful, a relic of world long since destroyed. As I stand before it, the Nada tells me of its origin, how thousands of entities died res rescuing it from the obliteration of Cryax Prime. It is a simulation of a solar system, a prayer offered to the Atlas. Nada will not expand, explain how the simulation would act as a play prayer. Huh? But this machine, this single false solar system, it will act as a home for Artemis, should I wish. Oh. Huh. I'll be back. All right, I did some researching online. It doesn't seem like this effect, this choice actually affects later in the game that much, uh, but it's just kind of their own choice. And uh, the thing is, is, all right, so Artemis is already dead. I mean, somehow we captured his soul. That doesn't work. No, not in real life. You know, either heaven or hell. But, but mm. so in, in this game, lore, he's just kind of dead laying around. So I can either allow him to die, la die or upload him. Well, seeing as I went through all the trouble to, to capture his soul uh, from the void, letting him just float back off in the void seems kind of worthless. But I hate games like this because they pigeonhole you into a choice. See, if I have his soul, all right, and we have the Corvex, we have uh, Corvexes, I have tons of, well, I don't have them anymore. No, I actually think I even have one in my inventory, which is basically a husk for that the, what's it called it's used? The um, Corvex used, the, the, whatever they called, robot race. And... They, they use that. I guarantee I could jerry-rig this up so that he could use that. And there's just so many different options I could come up with than, than other one, than otherwise than just kill him or upload him into a simulation. See, I always hate that when they pigeonhole you into a, a choice. But I'm going to upload him. Because, well, we went through all that. Might as well. Upload Artemis to the simulation. And a spark of blue light blazes through the air before me. It fades from what disappears and into the depths of the machine. Nada tells me that it's, a do it's done. For my sake, they will permit transmission to and from this simulation for at least a while. Their station passes through safe systems. They wish me luck in my journey, telling me that Artemis will need some time to grow, adjust to their near life. Well, I guess that's that, eh? Speak to Nal. To Nal? Who's Nal? Oh, Artemis lives. Okay, wait, I didn't read what you said. Artemis Echo will live on, traveler. Took them from the corruption to restore them to life in, of exploration, to see a solar system that none but Kovacs have ever witnessed. You have done well, traveler. Yeah, well, I don't feel like I did well. I don't feel like you gave me a proper choice. Don't worry, friend. We will take good care of Artemis Simulation. The soul of your allies are safe with us. That's that. Don't think there's anything else here. I think I gotta leave. Yep. Alright. Come on. Into spaceship. I need to get better at a spaceship. Now that I have 11 million bucks, I can do it by getting machine by getting one. This is a pretty good ship, but just um, still just a, a regular class one. Communication. Speak to your hollow. All right. Are you receiving? The hollow terminus is showing available again. Your sign was thought you were gone. It's a relief to hear hollow again. It feels like we have not spoken in a long time. Explain. I try to recount the experience to Paulo as best as I can. The gateway, the strange planet, the, a vast machine, the crimson orb. As I talk, I realize the memories themselves are unstable, that I cannot form them in my mind. It is just a dull, aching red. I tell Apollo that I think I saw the Atlas itself. You, you saw it? You met the Atlas? These, spe 
the species, the Gek, the Korvax, they worship it as a god. I never thought it was real. Never thought. Are you all right? I can't imagine what you've gone through. Say it was just a machine. It was just a machine. I'll tell Apollo of these things that Atlas said, how it spoke to travelers and sentinels as if we were protocols, not living things. The way it views us, the way it looked at me, I felt like as if life and death were just fragile dreams, not real concepts at all. At last, it didn't harm, at least it didn't harm you. And I think, I think there's something in what you just said. The Corvax pay homage to the Sentinels precisely because they believe them to be servants of the Atlas. We should investigate further. This machine will lead us to the Sentinel's nest. We will be rich before we know it. Say, uh, say talk of money is absurd. Say, there are more important things. Yes, there are more important things. Well, said I? Yeah, I think so. I suggest there are much bigger things to worry about. The Atlas felt hostile, in inexplicable in its motives and purposes, not to mention at all that has happened since. I tell Apollo the Artemis gave me grave and my encounter with the mysterious traveler no i suggest that there is more going on here than an opportunity to earn units artemis is dead i i don't how who who would i know i made fun of them but that was easy they cared they believed and i what happened to them where you where have you buried artemis i want to say goodbye if i can tell them of your choice I'll tell Paul, Apollo that Nal gave me the way of saving armies to restore them to a form of life. Apollo is initially excited at the process of, of going to meet Artemis, but I explain the nature of what I did. I tell Artemis, souls live on only within assimilation, unable to go beyond. Ask if this was right. It's a long time before Apollo speaks again. Will they be happy? Say you don't know. You did the right thing. You tried. Whatever you might be might be feeling right now, know that you are a good friend. I have to go through the portal and join you. That much is clear. We just need to figure out the right glyphs and the right address from that world, from uh, for that world of yours. Find a monolith. Search through the patterns of the data. These things are machines, and we simply need to understand their code. And transmitting. All right. Okay, you know what? I want to see where I'm at in the galaxy. I haven't actually done that. So let's go ahead and galaxy map. Portal station coordinates received. Oh, wow. So wait, this is a completely new area. No, it's not. Wait, where's I been, where, where have I been before? Stop, let, stop, let go. Why, why can't I control where? Okay, there. Thank you. Okay, no, I have not been there. I have not been there. Holy mackerel, I cannot, you're right. I, this is, there's the Atlas station. One, two more jumps to get there if I go from this station. Where else was I at? I guess there's no way to tell, huh? I am a completely different area away. I'm even farther away from the Atlas, um, from the core. Where's the core? There's the core. No, that's not the core. Where's the core? Huh. Brightness. 500 and some light years away. Wow, this thing just goes on and on forever. I have no idea where I was at before. Doesn't show me, doesn't tell me. Well, actually, it's kind of maybe, maybe if I fall out this line. Well, good thing is I can teleport back, so that's the thing. I can at least. This thing goes all the way to here for some reason. Well, now I have two different ways. So you either, I mean, oh, that's three jumps, four jumps. Okay, so that's pretty far away, the Atlas Station. <sighs> All right, so what are we supposed to do? We've actually pretty pretty explored this area a lot. Ooh. Oh, wow, new things to hire, lots of them. Well, I can either try to get a better, a much bigger uh, freighter. Well, let's see here. I wonder what happens. I have a lot of stuff in my freighter. If I go ahead and buy, if I go ahead and buy a new freighter, what about the stuff that's currently in the freighter? Will it keep, it keep my current layout, or will I lose everything that's in the freighter? Because this is a new freighter. I don't know how that works. I think I got. I don't I think I'm probably gonna stay with my own freighter, my capital ship, anyway. 
to an up here real quick. Locate the monolith. Scan your surroundings. Alright, we will do that. But first, let's go ahead and check out this guy. And I will do all this after, late, in, uh, off screen, if, you know, from now on, until I actually decide to buy one if I don't, if I don't like this one. Uh, yes. Offer to buy freighter. That's only C. Only 15 slot. Nope, not worth it. Alright. Nope, 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 no. Alright. That's good to know for now. I, mean, <laughs> I don't really want to spend money in... Yeah. That's, that's, that's a good idea. Okay, let's go back to the ship. And let's actually check out... We, we do need to buy some more actual side freighters. Like, uh... Well, you'll see what I mean. But you can buy them. I'll go ahead and buy one, probably. Most likely. Here we go. Leave the ship. That is Actually, like warships or whatever they're called, frigates, not starships, I don't know what they're called. There's blue, there's green. Ah, here, there's one over there. Lots of people. We. Here we are. Recruit of a frigate. E to tag. No, it's not what I need. Oh, yeah, that's what happens. Yeah, to tag it and to communicate. Ah, greetings from one commander to another. Do you seek new vessel to you for your fleet? We are proven in battle and ready for fight once again. Inspect frigate. Ah, crew to your stations. 24 in exploration. I don't even have one that has exploration. It's worth 100 for combat. Not very good in combat. How come it's not got combat? It's supposed to be from combat people. Uh, uh, huh. Dude's kind of like... It cost 100, 2 million. Well, I guess... I, I need to get a better ship, but I, I guess I'm going to spend it on this. I'm going to go ahead and buy... Because I, I do need better freighters. And I, this is the first time I've actually encountered any freighter that's recruitable in a long time. Uh, interloper, you're speaking the glory of our for your fleet. Inspect frigate. Ah, a B class versus three million. Another really high in excavation too. Wow. Um. Okay, yeah, that, that, like I said, it's been a very long time since I've actually seen another freighter, so I'm, I'm going to go ahead and buy this. this. This is actually pretty good. Except. There we go. We now have a total of four freighters. That should be enough for now. And that, now I'm back below. I'm back down to seven million. Ah! You're a snake! And there's another one I can buy. <laughs> Let's go check what the stats on this thing is. X. Communicate. Grrr, inspect freighter. Uh, let you know you will not regret it until over. interloper. Uh, times damage 6. Exploration 14. No. That's okay. I don't need another person with more exploration when I needed more combat, I think. Okay. Now, it told us to scan. Recruitable. Coordinates detected. Do -do 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 -do. All right, take me a little bit to get there. Be right back. All right, we're almost out of time for this episode, but we're gonna go ahead and continue on real quick. Let's go ahead and we've got to this monolith. Not sure exactly what we're gonna do here. So he was saying we need money. Yeah, we actually need money. <laughs> I do need really need money. This is, I think, this is the first time I've actually been on this planet. No, maybe not. Okay. And. Now we got a third zone. I have no idea what. what, what, what oh, Velky. Okay, yes. Is there anything I have not scanned? This one, guys. What's this? Humming egg. All right. Vel uh, ruins of Alcathara. Uh, whatever. Anomaly, anomaly, anomaly. I see the stones of the monolithus. It is immovable, mute silver, and yet something lurks beneath. It is gray, and yet not gray. It is crimson, calling out for somewhere below its cold surface. Locate a portal. And located the portal. Wow, really? Just that easy? Whoa, okay. That's kind of surprising. I wouldn't think it'd be easy to locate a little portal. Uh oh. And. Oof. Man, the wind's actually blowing my ship around, I think. Felt that way, at least. Go. What's that off in the night sky? It looks like a trade station, but it's not actually coming up as a trade station. That's weird. Yeah, 
it really looks like, oh, it is a train station. It just wasn't showing the icon for it. Here we go. And let's, let's use our warp to get there. Oh, oops, 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 I hit the wrong button. I mean, I didn't, I didn't point at it when I hit the warp. That was my mistake. And... Boom. Whee! Portal. Five, four, here we are. Two, one, here we are, right there! Yes! Another portal. On this planet. I think this is the planet where I came on the portal through, actually. I'm pretty, pretty sure, yeah. Oh, well, whatever. I'm not gonna complain. Too much. There we go. Which side do we have to go on? This one or that side? Ah, this side. Yes. Tribute to Parax. Uh, change the glyphs to enable the portal. Oh, charge the glyphs. Oh, uh, okay. Traveler capture loop enabled. Anomaly event contained. The portal seems to be to beg me as I approach, demanding my attention. It requires me to activate it. It requires me to travel on. I'm unsure if I should listen. Request the planet's address. What? Uh huh. Okay. I have no idea what that even means. Contact. Holomag the turn. Wait, I can't actually go through? I, I, I can't do anything. C to scan for Holomag Turgis. I need contact. Okay, so. Oh. This is. I've already been here. This is the way I did come. Okay, 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 okay. Yes, yes, yes. That's good. And it tells me to go to that uh, the closest holomag. Okay, we will do that. Um, but I actually don't think we have time for that this episode. Oh well, well, wait, 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 wait. I can just go a little bit long, a little bit farther. It's right there. Why not, eh? Uh, I don't want to have, have to climb that though. And I know I should have landed out the green thing. I know mostly you're probably screaming at me, why didn't you land at the stupid thing? Because it takes longer to land there. <laughs> yes. So and I have tons of dehydrate. So all right, run up the ship. But no, stop grabbing that! He grabbed onto that by himself. I'm gonna have to climb this one because I'm out of thrusters. My jetpack is dead. Here we go. And let's activate. Oh, multiple signals are received. Tune to Apollo. Do, 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 do. Ah! Hey, Apollo! You, have you found the glyphs for your world? I'm almost ready. My chute is upgraded. My stomach is full, and I've hired a geck to look after my farm while I'm away. Ask about the farm. Yes, I have a farm. What of it? It's not much, mostly fruit. I have found in my travels, but I am hoping to expand. Anyway, this is no concern of yours. We have a portal to attend to. Do we not? As I look at Apollo, I think of what all this that I saw within the portal, of what happened to, Ar to Artemis when they walk the same path. I think the face of the Atlas, of the way Nada warned me not to return to those tunnels. I do not know if the portals are safe. Give Apollo the glyphs. I uh, give Apollo the glyphs, asking them to take care, to remember what happened to Artemis. They assure me that they will promise me, to, to, promising me to see me soon. Before I go, they advise me to find out what I can f form to this so-called gnaw. I can, what I can form, this so-called so gnaw. They warn me to be careful too. And speak to gnaw. Gnaw. Okay. Hey, gnaw. Two travelers, one who cared too much and one who cared too little. The universe is not what you thought it would be, is it? What you felt was promised. 
Don't feel bad. Every sentient being that has ever lived has felt this way at some point. I know I did. At once upon a time, I was angry, confused at my own solitude. Imagine my surprise when you woke me. Oh, I know you didn't mean to. I know the... I knew you were just playing around with portals, but whatever you did, I'm here now, and I need your help. What? You do? Thatless. It is not what you think it is. Something is happened to the universe. Something I need your help to figure out. Asking why they need my help. The Sentinels do not just keep the peace across the universe. They, their motives run deeper than that. Seeking out anomalies in the multiverse, structures, and eliminating them from existence. Have you looked at me? What do you think... Uh, what do you think a sentinel would do if they came across my form? No, it is, has to be you, traveler. There is an observatory nearby. It will lead you to the location of the crash freighter of a great interest to our investigation. There, there you will find the first secret. I am sure of it. I know that Atlas is neither enemy nor friend to us, nor more than the air or the wind might be called such names, but it is terrified, it, it is in pain, and we have the responsibility to help its suffering, no matter the cost. The Atlas? Okay. As I move to leave, I see Artemis frequency come, has become available once more in the network. I should speak to them before I f find Nall's observatory. Oh, okay. Well, that is indeed all we have time for the day. I hope you have enjoyed this episode. If you have, like, shares, and comments, and definitely don't forget to subscribe. Lord Mad Dog, signing off.